In today's wrap-up, Russia has sent a mobile laboratory and specialists to conduct COVID-19 tests. Nagorno-Karabakh's Central Electoral Commission announces that the runoff election will go ahead on April 14th. Former member of the National Assembly Levon Sarkisyan will be extradited from Russia. And Armenia's first president, Levon Ter Petrosyan, has written an article about the COVID-19 situation in the country. Spokeswoman of the Armenian Defense Ministry, Shushan Stepanyan, reported that a group of Russian military medical specialists have arrived in Armenia. The team is accompanied by a mobile testing laboratory in accordance with an agreement between the Armenian Defense Minister and the Russian Defense Minister. Stepanyan also stated that the team will start by testing personnel of both the Armenian and Russian armed forces based at the 102nd Russian military base in Gyumri. This comes as Armenia aims to increase the amount of daily COVID-19 tests it conducts. Nagorno-Karabakh's Central Electoral Commission has announced that a runoff election will go ahead on April 14th. Authorities in Stepanakert had received criticism from several presidential candidates as well as some prominent figures in Armenia for holding a national election during a pandemic. Yesterday, Karabakh confirmed its first case of the novel coronavirus, and later it was revealed that the infected patient had participated in the first round on March 31st in one of Karabakh's remote villages. Current Foreign Minister of Karabakh, Masis Maelian, who placed second in the first round and will now face former Prime Minister and front-runner, Arai Karatunyan, has called for a boycott of the second round. Calls are growing for the April 14th runoff to be postponed. Moreover, the village where the first case of COVID-19 was confirmed is now under quarantine. Russian authorities have agreed to extradite Armenian former National Assembly member Levon Sarkisyan, who is wanted in Armenia. Sarkisyan had been arrested in Zelenograd, Russia in late 2019 and has been wanted in Armenia since 2018 on charges of embezzlement and robbery. He stands accused of hiring a gang of men to break into the property of the former chief of Armenia's customs service to steal cash and precious items. Serving as a member of the National Assembly from 1999 to 2012, he was a member of the former ruling Republican Party. Interestingly, Russia refuses to extradite another prominent Republican Party member and Armenia's former chief bailiff, Mihran Bohosyan, who is wanted in Armenia on charges of embezzlement. And finally, Armenia's first president, Levon Ter Petrosyan, has written an article about the COVID-19 situation in the country. He said that the country is in a state of war and praised the government's handling of the pandemic and condemned opposition forces that are trying to achieve political gain from the situation. He has called on the inquiry into the April war to be postponed. Former President Serge Sarkisyan has been invited to testify in the special parliamentary commission that deals with the 2016 April war. Der Petrosyan called on the second and third Armenian presidents to order their media outlets to stop discrediting the government in the time of the pandemic. Furthermore, Der Petrosyan urged citizens to follow the government's guidelines and to hold the government to account once the crisis has abated. Armen Alaverdian, director of the NGO Unison, which advocates for the rights of peoples with disabilities, writes about the problems these people face during the pandemic. He stresses that people with disabilities are much more vulnerable to the virus and experience a lot more difficulties because of the lockdown. Alaverdian proposes steps that the government should undertake to alleviate these people's situation.